Hello, my name is Sia, and I'm going to take you through the mosaic pattern for the pot holder. Um, as you can see, I've done two rows of single crochet, and I'm actually at the end of this row, and that's where I'm going to start showing you in case you're new to color work also. So I've been working in color A, and now I'm going to pick up my color B right here. It's blue. For once, I'm going to follow what my picture is, and I'm going to add it in on the last pull through of this last single crochet. You see I haven't actually finished my last single crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that through. And then I'm going to kind of go ahead and pull on both of them to make sure it looks a little bit more like a stitch. So that's the end of row two. And now I'm going to go ahead and do a chain one. And then we can go ahead and start row three. So let's take a look at what row three is like. So as you can see here, we're gonna do a number of single crochets, eight of them, and then a chain three while we skip over two stitches, and then another eight single crochet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I've already chained one. I need to go ahead and turn, and now I'm gonna single crochet eight. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. So now I'm going to chain three. It's one, two, three. I'm going to skip the next two stitches and go directly to the third stitch. So we chain three instead of chaining two because eventually we're going to have stitches that come through here, which will pull a little bit of tension on those and we don't want it to curl. If we only did two, it would be a little too tight and would cause puckering and curling. So that's why we do three, even though there's only two stitches we're skipping. And then we go ahead and finish out the row um, of single crochet. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause here and then um, catch up with you. 